Uh, you could major in physics because you want to get a good paying job, but I don't think that's really why most people do it. I mean, physics um, brings out idealistic feelings in people. You find out how the, how the universe works. It's just amazing. It's one amazement after another. The, the depth and the beauty of it, nature is presented is, is, uh, is indescribable. And the only way to truly appreciate it is to, is to learn the physics. Quantum mechanics can be seen as a cornerstone of our knowledge of the universe, <laughs> yes. When you first learn a subject and you just see how beautiful it is, you, you want to be able to share it. And I think that's a fundamentally a, a major motive in uh, wanting to teach. Is a, an this course started, in fact, by using a textbook that was actually rather poor. So I, I worked on finding better ways of, of, of explaining what was in the book. And that's led ultimately to the currently uh, typed up notes. I think for me the materials are more accessible based on his notes. In his notes, uh, basically all math details are really um, explicit, so it's not too hard to follow. I don't have to worry about sort of catching every word and scribbling it down in my notebook, and instead I can just kind of sit there and um, pay closer attention to kind of what he's saying and the concepts. I take a special uh, pleasure in, in being able to explain um, uh, physics in geometrical language, uh, which is oftentimes very beautiful. The geometrical angle is one that I've always uh, personally, uh, it's always been active in my own mind, and I use it as a means of conveying the physical ideas to, to students when I teach. He um, is sort of like uniquely aware of what types of things students often will struggle with because of how long he's been teaching it for. And he understands it so well that he's able to sort of um, find ways to help us understand it by connecting it to things we've learned previously. Actually, I don't think I've honed my craft ex except to try to be more aware of how well I'm connecting with the students, their abilities, and, and where they're coming from. Well, first of all, I go to office hours most weeks because I'm usually confused, especially by the homework. He'll expand on what we can do with the result and what's next, and that, that really adds a depth of understanding that that helps moving forward as well. A, a, a person can't learn physics by sitting in an audience and watching the smart guy at the blackboard. Most importantly is working through problems on their own and figuring out the how to put the pieces together to make the answers come out. That's really well, that's where the real learning occurs is in is in that. I think the question you're always asking in a class like this is what does this lead to and what can we use this for? And that sort of generates an expanding tree of, of things that can be calculated and things that can be predicted. A good advice for, for a young physicist is don't believe anything until you've worked it out for yourself. You're likely to come up with a different perspective on it if you do. I'm, I'm not uh, someone who thinks that, that all you need to do is to, is to learn how to think. I think you need to have something to think about. The, the quality of, of a course can be determined by the quality of the material the students learn. In other words, it's what they learn that counts. If the students will like my class, I want them to like it because they learn something. They learn, hopefully learned a lot.